Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about frontend and developers who are stuck in frontend. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story, but basically it was Frederick, I have been working as a frontend developer for five years now. Do you have any tips for how I can improve my backend skills or my technical skills so that I don't neglect that? And the short answer is you need to become a full stack developer, my friend. That is exactly what needs to happen. Let me explain. So when it comes to front end development, something that I think needs to be stated first and foremost is that just because you do front end work, that doesn't mean that you don't have technical skills because there are many intricate things that can be going on when you're dealing with front end. It's just that the focus on the traditional core skills like object oriented programming, functional programming, etc., etc., are more they're more alive and thriving if that makes sense in the back end like where most of the more computational related problems like and the it's a, sphere, it's a different sphere, like you're more focused on these topics than you are in front end. Like yeah, I know for a fact that yes, fr functional programming has a bit of a hype thing going on in front end, but not in the sa it's, not, it's not really the same sort of thing. If you look at the dominant patterns of front end development, it will be circulating around things such as tooling, execution speeds for some reason, I don't know why, but there it is. Things such as styling, accessibility, make it, or an especially developer experience. Oof, that's a big thing in front end. In the back end, it's not actually the same sort of thing. The, the focus there is usually much more on good architectural practices, uh, stability system, like site reliability sort of related things, infrastructure, etc. etc. So for a front end developer to progress back into the back end, I would would like you to, I, I just need to state something that is fairly important. And that is that you need to define your scope for what you mean about going into the back end. Because back end is an amazing, it's an enormous area. So what I would argue is that you should focus on becoming an application developer, a back end application developer first and foremost. That is. A full in a sense it is a full stack developer and the difference between that and being like a DevOps engineer or things like that is that you go to what well this sounds a little bit condescending but pro I promise you it's not you focus on the basics of back-end work and the basics of back-end work is to know how to set up a server know how to persist things to a database know how to deal with sessions and cookies and so forth so user validation as an example and then know how to create a clean API of some sort or serving up a website or something like that. The remaining work for most of backend developers these days at least, unless you are really into the semantics of what an application developer is versus a DevOps engineer, well, that is where the box is. For DevOps engineers or people who are true quote unquote full stack developers, then you need to go into much more like things such as cloud-based solution, cloud native, Docker, Kubernetes, Puppet, Ansible, Chef, there's so many tools regarding this. And I suggest to you, don't, don't go there because it's not, treat that as the last step for you. So start by just going over to doing service side work and you should be able to do, the, do this in a fairly simple, it shouldn't be all that much of a hassle for you to progress into that. Now what I'm, suggesting here is that you can do a light start here and you can say that all right I'm going to just start using Node.js. Now that is a very good transition like because that is uh, you should already know about Node if you're doing front-end work and Node isn't all that there's so many learning resources. The best part about Node is that it is well let's call it the best thing and the worst thing depending on how you look at it. What's really great about it is that it's all JavaScript. And because it's all JavaScript, there's tons of learning resources. It's the ecosystem of learning resources is vast and well established. There's so much for you to learn and so many examples. So you should be able to pick that up. Now, what I argue is that 
even though if you do, if, even if you do this, you are still not going to, even if you master Node, be on par with with your understanding of backend work and core knowledge such as, such as object-oriented programming, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just because you go over to Node. Because unfortunately, Node has they we in Node we don't have the same maturity around enterprise development as you see in languages such as C Sharp and Java, for example. Now C Sharp, C Sharp and Java are probably the best server-side languages in order for you to learn strong object-oriented foundations and enterprise development. But if you really want to go with Node, because I highly suggest that, I, I really do believe that you can do the same sort of, make the same sort of progress in Node, then add TypeScript to your stack. Use TypeScript with Node to learn about typing systems, inheritance and object-oriented principles, and you know, of course functional principles as well, if that is what you're after. Just make sure that you try to adopt those core areas of knowledge, which as I said was how to set up an application and use like object-oriented, real structured work processes such as object-oriented principles. Make sure that you know how to use a database. Make sure that you know how to do user validation, things of this nature so that you can have accounts, all of that good stuff. And finally, make sure that you know how to to create a REST API and like how the inter, how, basically how the internet works, the HTTP protocols, all of this good stuff. These are the main focus areas. But it's also worth mentioning, as I said, that if you really want to go die hard in on the back end, C Sharp and Java are probably better options and they will also open up a bigger suite of job opportunities for you because it's actually a lot more common that people are looking for full stack Java developers or full stack C Sharp developers than they are looking for full stack Node developers. There is a market for that, of course, but not as big. And the ultimate thing that you can do in order to achieve your goal of becoming a full stack developer or a more well-rounded front-end developer is to actually get paid to do both back-end and front-end work because it's very hard, usually, for you to develop your skills to a, a fairly high professional, let's call it a professional standard, without doing this sort of work on a daily basis. And hobby program and projects are well and good, but they're not going to measure up as much. Uh, well, they're not going to do the job as well as actually doing it professionally. So, what I want you to take away from this is that if you are a front-end developer, such as this subscriber, stuck in a front-end only role and you want to start moving to the back end or you want to improve your technical skills, don't necessarily focus on algorithm, algorithms and things like that. Start by learning how to do server-side work. The easiest way for you to transition into that is to use Node, and I highly recommend that you use TypeScript as well, because TypeScript is going to help a lot with your comprehension of object-oriented principles, inheritance, and all of this good stuff that is core knowledge, pretty much for everybody who does server-side application development then try to focus on just the application of itself. Don't go too far into infrastructure and things like that to, to begin with, because that's a, also a very big area. So focus on being able to set up an applica application, being able to persist and save things to a database, being able to set up a REST API, being able to set up a authentication of some sort so that you can validate people with logins and all of that good stuff. And once you have that under your belt, you are pretty much ready to do a full stack developer's role. And if you want to be really sure that you can get a job doing that sort of thing, the best languages are usually C, C Sharp and Java if you're going to start doing server-side work. Have a great day.